Hi guys, welcome back to this instalment. Um, I've just stopped for a minute to show you this uh, pile of bricks I've been working on now. I'm just going to use the seven bricks here on top, the extra, um, to do a quick test wall. Uh, show you how I've uh, been putting the walls together so far and the best method I've come up with. Um, let's start on that. So guys, I've uh, I've just took six bricks here, and um, I'll use these to make a test wall. Um, I'm going to be getting some large sheets of this type of tin. Um, it's just like a standard tub tin. You know, the, the normal tin sheet, but it's very thin. And uh, I'm going to get some of these sheets um, from a company nearby. I'm hoping they'll be pretty cheap. Uh, say 50 centimetre by 50 centimetre sheets and what I can then do is I can then use the tin I'll, um, I'll use the tin side rather than the back side for this one um, just so I know it's gonna I can really show you how I'm gonna be doing it and uh, I'll take the, the bricks here and I'll put them on the tin and to do that I'm gonna need a few bits so first off is the Gorilla Glue, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the bricks side onto the tin um, and let them set, and once they're set, I'll then mortar between them, pushing the mortar down into the um, crevices of the brick using the end of a, um, a paintbrush. So first let's just um, glue these up. I'll uh, it's best to glue them side on when the tin is flat so I'll just rearrange the camera so you can see it when it's um, from you know top down. Um, let's glue on some bricks to the tin. Side on brick about one millimeter equal all over of glue. Try not to touch the glue and the brick because if you do it melts the brick and leaves a bit of a, a, a dirty color. I'm being a bit lazy as um, I'm not really working out the level to make it a flat brick. So there's first one. That looks pretty levelish. like it's wide at the top brick but in fact there's just a little it's just nudging upwards and it looks like a width thing rather than a height thing show you the camera at a better angle in a moment so um i'll just nudge that into place and what you'll find is that when this glue dries it bubbles up and becomes like a bubbly um a bubbly dry you know spot of a uh, loctite kind of super glue and what we'll do is it should bubble up say um, about a millimeter up the brick between the between the brick there and it just moved slightly um, it, um, it'll bubble up just a millimeter and the other couple of millimeters coming out to the brick face will cover in in cement uh, so I'll just let this thing dry
so that's not too bad on a drying time um, I did poke it with a pen a lot to keep it you know as straight as possible it does move slightly as the uh, glue bubbles up and dries um, just while the last bits are drying now I'll um, ma make the mortar mix um, I'll just show you the my light I'm afraid has gone a little on me today I'll just show you how it's it the last little blobs are drying can I get that there and there's the wall you can see how that little bit on the end needs the Dremel drill to clean it up to flatten it off it looks wider than it is and even though it looks slightly off them bricks and that one is on the left there I've been picking that on out um, once the mortars between them and everything it looks quite good um, so let's just make this mort batch um, move it out of the way a moment I'll get the scales let's have a look there we go and uh, I'll put the scale version of a cement mixer on top which is this pot and um, I will get the shovel which is this spoon and I will mix some grout gear so turn the thing on and let it zero zero out a little can I get that in there we go and now I'll take 17 and a half gram if I can get it right 14 16 and the bit on the spoon should make a nice 17 there we go uh, so 17 gram of the uh, mix and grout gear and seems two gram of sand and I'll try to match that with the cement doesn't seem to need water as the um, the grout mix has enough water to mix the um, sand and change the colour and everything. So I've mixed it in pretty well and it's got a bit of a viscous cement look to it and uh, I'll just apply that between the bricks here. And that's pretty much it, it's bladded together. Um, I could tidy it up a bit further, but what the hell is, get rid of some of this excess hair stuck on. And that, as you can see, hopefully, looks like a real wall. Ah, mortared up very lazily by me on a Sunday when I've got a hangover and I can't be bothered and want to go back to bed. But realistically you can get the idea and let's clean that up a bit once that dries that'll be pretty set uh, for the mortar itself and um, the glue underneath to the tin means that it's really solid I can then just um, cut out the tin job's a good one cut round the tin with the drem dremel and uh, it looks quite good um, so yeah now the method and stuff I'm happy with that I'm sorry for the sloppy uh, demonstration there but you know what I mean I'm running a bit short on time cringe um, so I just thought I'd give you a quick update with this I'll compile all this and put it in a quick video or a short video as I can um, thanks guys for watching awesome uh, I'm only here because your input has got me to this far so I'll just keep uh, messing around and stuff uh, with it and you know improve on it further what I would say is um, the only problem I'm having at the moment is manufacturing time of brick uh, to create these little bricks it's about 35 bricks an hour so even if I doubled that efficiency and my hands were going like Santa's elves on um, you know the uh, the line there I still I if I got 50 bricks an hour it's not great as I need about three and a half thousand bricks to make one house so um, yeah that's the next step see if you can prove the um, the rate of brick creation 
But remember, this uh, I'll get sheets of tin, so this side uh, will be tin, and the other side will be tin, and I'll do I'll give the sa the other side the same treatment, and between the two sides, because I'll chop it up, so when I do the other side, I'll know what you know the height of everything. When I give the other side uh, the same treatment between the two sides and the rigidity of uh, the tin in the middle, it will be absolutely solid and um, it will also look like mortar. Uh, it's not dried I'm afraid, but it does look, when it dries it looks like a, a nice kind of colour. Here's one uh, I made earlier um, that looks a bit cleaner like I made a bit more effort with it. So thanks for watching, see you later. Cheers.